habían fiestas y rituales satánicos. Es lo que asegura Alison Carter, la presunta víctima de tráfico sexual de Diri, que ahora señala a estas fiestas como sexuales, excesivas y abusos contra niños. Pero no sería la primera vez que testifica. Ella ya dio una entrevista en televisión. Sin embargo, en aquella época nadie le hizo caso. Sus acusaciones ahora son las mismas. Y vaya que son graves. Los dejarán impactados. Alison Carter tenía apenas 12 años cuando comenzó su trágica historia. Aquí su testimonio. People don't usually talk and stop and think about the children victims that are going through things right now as we speak and the ones who suffered through. I decided to stop for a second and do some projects with some with with projects all around because we just said, you know what? This is our life. It's not changing. We stopped somewhere and I've been hiding. My mom and I have been hiding. We've had our head down. We've tried to back up. We've tried to tell you everything that we can, and now we have people messaging us, investigators, people that want to talk now, when now it's because it's trending. We're still not on the subject of the kids. All the adults are covering. All the adults are, I left at a certain time, yet you knew children were there. You knew these parties were not okay. They weren't freak offs. They were satanic ritual orgies. Get it straight. It wasn't just adults in these parties. The adults were responsible for the child sex slaves that were in the party. And one of those children were me. 